I'm with legendary WWE manager Precious Paul Ellering, uh, who I believe you are still with the WWE in some capacity, aren't you? Yes, I, I help with the NXT program, developing talent, and uh, I'm always uh, moving around the country and checking out uh, talent and looking for opportunity for both them and me. Now, how did you find your experience managing the Authors of Pain? Uh, I found it very rewarding. I went down there with no uh, preconceived ideas. They called me up and said, uh, you might want to check these two guys out. We think there's a lot of potential there. I went down, I did check them out. There is a lot of potential there. Reezer was a MMA fighter, and Akam was an Olympic caliber wrestler, and they both together have uh, the commitment to be great. They have what it takes. They're willing to make sacrifices and uh, to go the extra mile. And that's what it takes to be great. I was just the last piece of the puzzle. Akam, Rezar, one piece of the puzzle was missing. And that was me. And I came down, I went down there and I worked with them for two years. And now they're up uh, in the raw. And I understand your daughters now become quite a successful professional wrestler as well. Yes, Rachel works very hard at it. She's very talented, uh, has a terrific education, uh, was a communications major so she can talk your ear off, and she was a, a world-class power lifter. She competed in the World Games in uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. So she has a lot going for her, and uh, I look forward to watching her develop. And you were a world-class power lifter too at one point, I believe. What are some of your best lifts? Oh boy. Well, I had the world record in 1976 in the 220-pound weight class. And uh, the, the record was 746 and one quarter pound. Now, for managing the Legion of Doom, that's what you're probably most remembered for. Is there any match with them that really stands out to you? There were so many classics. Well, we had a lot of classic matches. And what made them classics was the matchups. Uh, Animal and Hawk when combined with Dusty Rhodes and uh, versus like the Four Horsemen. You know, that was really good because it was opposites. You know, they were technicians and uh, they played strategy, Animal and Hawk. You know, they were they were barroom fighters, you know, fighters. So, so it was a slugger against the boxer. And uh, that's what made it, that's what made that time exciting. Are you still racing uh, dog sleds? No, I sold all my dogs uh, two years ago. At one point, I had 90, 90 dogs. Wow. But I ran the Iditarod three times. And, uh, uh, that was a tremendous adventure. And finally, as I guess you're somewhat of a WWE scout now, um, what do you look for? Uh, and for any independent wrestlers watching this, what advice do you have for them? Well, the first thing I look at is the commitment. Are, are, are they willing to do what everybody's willing to do? Because there's thousands of people that'll work out five hours a day, they'll read this book, they'll watch this much film. There's thousands of them. But I want the ones that are not only willing to do that, but what, I ask him, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up temptation? Are you willing to give up your friends? Are you willing to give up your family? Are you that committed to being great? Because that's what the great ones do. It's not what you'll do, it's what you'll give up to be great.
So that's the kind of commitment I want to see. Now for our fans watching this, uh, do you have any social media or anywhere where they could follow you online? Paul Ellering Twitter, WWE, Paul Ellering Twitter. All right, well, thank you very much for uh, speaking to us. Uh, I was a huge fan of the Road Warriors, and it's an honor and a privilege to speak with you. Pleasure to meet you.